What would you say is your proudest moment um, or most rewarding moment as an instructor? One of the ones that, the, the moments that really stand out is uh, I had a, a client, Leslie, and she came to me and I, I don't know what it was, she had a bad skin condition. Uh, it was like she had a rash, a, a breakout. Because I had seen her once before in an audit and she was like, I want to take your course. And she comes and she has a rash on her, all over her whole face. And But she'd get on camera as if her skin was fine and you know, maybe she kind of blocked it out or whatever. And uh, real sweetheart, young lady. And she had pulled me to the side after class and said, you know, I'm really glad I'm taking your class because, you know, I want to learn and I, you know, face some discouragement. She said, one agent told me I can't, it's going to be hard for me to work because I'm African American and my skin problem and this and that and so on. Right. And I just said, oh, who told you this and blah, blah, blah. And so she told me she had an audition for Royal Caribbean Cruise Lines. She said, do you think that my skin will be a problem? I said, I said, you have to, to let go. If you're gonna go on the audition, just like it seems that you do in class, just shine, be yourself, forget the skin, forget, go in, be the person your best friends know you to be. You got a wonderful personality, great smile, right? Focus on what you control, the whole thing. She called, I was at the beach one day, on a day I had off, one of the few. She called my cell phone in tears. She said, I booked the Royal Caribbean Cruise. She said, it's $10,000. We get to go on the ship for six, six uh, days. She said, when she got back, she said, we worked six hours and the rest of the time was ours on the cruise. Amazing. And that was, and she was crying on the phone. She said, could you encourage me? You help me, you, I mean, I think that was my most heartfelt experience with an actor. Uh, is that, you know, for her to, to, to make me a part of it, to say I was a part of her success and the way she felt about herself. Because I'd seen her a month or two later, her face cleared up, everything was fine. It was just some kind of temporary skin condition that she had. Um, and clearly it was something that could be covered with makeup. But yes. It was, it was doing, it was doing so, more to her self-esteem yep, yep. than it was doing to the reality of her booking. Just like they did. I mean, they did the makeup. I saw the spot. It wasn't like they were doing close-up shots of her anyway. She was with a family. You know, she had a husband and two children. And, um, you know, it, it, everything worked out in the end. And, and that, I'll never forget that moment. Because, I mean, I was away from my office. I'm, you know, at the beach. But she calls with that kind of disruption in her voice and she was saying i booked the job i just want to thank you and it was her first commercial also and it's so true i feel like actors in general and people in general we see things about ourselves that nobody else really sees yep. and what really doesn't matter yep. but we create these stories in our head yep. that discourage us that put ourselves down yep. when in reality that isn't what's going on yep. in the auditioner's mind at all right uh, and and it's great that you have the kind of relationship with your clients that you're able to help them navigate that as a friend and a mentor. Yeah. And not just somebody that says, okay, this is how you hit your mark and this is how you say your lines. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I think what makes my coaching really effective is that I give my clients full 100% access to me. 